I think the history of Detroit is in its architecture. A core part of what is in every Detroiter is the buildings that we've seen and grew up with. This is one of those cornerstone buildings along Woodward. It's a wonderful place to worship. Couldn't have been better. It is the castle. It is St. Curvy. It is the Obsinia Church. Going in the front, it was an entryway that just said, this is something else, and welcome. My name is Fred Wyckoff. When I was a kid, about five or six, we started going to Woodward Avenue Presbyterian Church. In 51, I got married at Woodward Avenue Church. Hi, I'm Al Fields. I'm an executive vice president at Computech Corporation, an IT staffing and services company headquartered in Detroit, Michigan. How did we get involved in this? We had purchased the old technology school across the street. We're going to build that for call centers and put Detroiters to work. During that process, this building was falling apart. We had the opportunity through a foreclosure to purchase it so we can protect our investment there, but also protect the neighborhood that we plan to move into. It's still pretty well preserved in there. Isn't it? None of the windows are broken. It's called St. Curvy for a reason. You'll see the upper balcony is curved, which is very unusual construction for that era. It's stunning to walk into this facility for the first time, even in the current state. You look around and you see what it once was, the grandeur. It was spectacular. The building had a rotunda roof. The sermons were always long for a kid. And I used to imagine myself swinging from railing to railing up there. I was probably thinking about Superman. That's not exactly a worshipful thing, but that, that's what a kid would do. <laughs> As I grew older, I, I began to look forward to the the sermon. It's been used for countless videos, it's used for movies, it's used for congregations, but more importantly, it is used for the community. And our goal is to keep that community element here. It would be wonderful to go back and see it. It represents my childhood as I grew older, a, a growing faith. And that's where I learned the faith that stayed with me. It is worth saving.